right, so this is the first spot I wanted to bring you all. It's the Los Rios Historic District. You can see the sign right here. This is a really cool spot. I'm gonna take you on a little drive down this quiet street and to summarize what you, what you have here, this is part of downtown San Juan Capistrano, which is what today is all about. And there are these little um, fashion shops and uh, knickknack shops, as well as uh, a kid's petting zoo, uh, which we'll kind of show you some pictures right now of. I actually took my daughter, my one-year-old daughter there, and it was super cool for $5. You buy some celery and carrots and you can feed the animals and it's it's like a perfect little one hour activity and then you literally cross over the train tracks and you can go get food. But here on the left, we're kind of getting into like the, the little central part of the Los Rios district. Different gardens here as well. And there's, there's a lot of activities that you can do here. San, remember, San Juan Capistrano has a ton of culture and history. And this is a fun spot to come and learn more about it. Also, the train tracks there, the Amtrak picks up here. You can get to San Diego from this location or to Union Station in LA. This is Hidden House Coffee. This is a great little coffee shop, um, very scenic. You can see there's some big mature trees and this is a great place to come get a cup of coffee, do some work, meet up with a friend that you haven't seen in a while, or just hang out, read a book. There's a couple of uh, offices in here, like there's a little law office. But it's a, uh... oh, let's, let's look down this pedestrian path. There's a big park here too, so I, I noticed that like during the holidays, a lot of families are here like taking their Christmas card picture. It's just a really beautiful spot. There's a big park behind it over by the petting zoo. This is kind of a butterfly and pollinating sanctuary right here to our left. It's a great spot. Like if you, oh, I'm gonna back up. I want everybody to see this. This is a great brunch spot. You've gotta make a reservation here. This is the Ramos House Cafe great spot to come for a brunch. It's super eclectic and neat. If you can get a reservation there, I highly recommend it. So uh, what I was saying is just a really good spot to come on a Saturday morning or even if you have like a weekday where you can come down here, it would be a little less busy and visit these boutiques and local artists and the shopping, get some coffee, get a brunch, take a little one to the petting zoo. It's, it's just really cool. So this is the Los Rios Historic District and this kind of makes up the first part of downtown that I wanted to share with you guys today. And now I'm gonna take you to some more of the restaurants and show you some of the great eateries that we have here in San Juan Capistrano and then we'll finish up with the mission. Okay, so when you come check out San Juan Capistrano, the downtown area, I recommend you park your car at the Los Rios Park or you can pay for parking, there's a spot too behind us, but if you park at Los Rios Park, you don't have to pay and then you can walk the Los Rios Historic District that we just drove and you literally cross the tracks here it's a pedestrian spot. So if you follow me, you can cross over the tracks here and get to all the best spots to eat. It's really easy to just stay on foot here. And again, this is where the Amtrak picks up. The train literally stops right here and picks up for San Diego or LA. So that's the, that's the little local uh, tip, if you will, park at the park and then you don't have to pay for parking and you can literally walk anywhere you want from right here. Okay, so we're on Camino Capistrano now. This is basically where downtown starts. Just in front of us is the famous El Adobe restaurant. Great, authentic Mexican food in San Juan Capistrano. And this is where we really get into the downtown. You could see like the historic buildings here on our left and our right. And it's, uh, it's actually really cool to note 
the Swallows Day that happens down here is it's the run of the swallows and it's an amazing spot where they shut all this down and it just becomes a huge festival. Swallows in here on our right, live music, cocktails, it's a famous bar. But here on Camino Capistrano and Vertigo where the streets uh, intersect is basically like the main and main of downtown uh, San Juan Capistrano. So you've got eateries like Selma's, Sun-Dried Tomatoes, Hennessy's, like some of the bigger chain names. But then there's some more like regional, just kind of hyper local spots here, like Trevor's on the Tracks um, and Rancho Capistrano Winery, which has a location here in downtown San Juan Capistrano and a, a newer location in downtown San Clemente. So that place, uh, the winery is fantastic if you wanna go for like appetizers and wine, or even if you wanna get a full sit down meal, it will not disappoint. So I'm making a left right now down into this little quiet part of the downtown. The street's not busy, this is basically just parking here. And this is the other side of where we just shot on the Los Rios uh, district, the historic district where I just showed you where to cross the tracks. This is where it lets out. So you can pay for parking over here if you wanted to just come to the restaurants and not walk. But this is Trevor's on the tracks here. This is a great spot, live music. Rancho Capistrano here, their patio on our right. And then some more parking and then there's one more restaurant here um, that's pretty cool because it's it's all in the old uh, train cars. It's Patty's Station. So if you want to go eat dinner in an actual train car, this is a cool place to do it. They have pretty good food here and live music as well. So some other spots to note, if you love barbecue, authentic barbecue food, uh, heritage barbecue, is a great spot to check out. The line gets really, really long, but they serve drinks throughout the line, so it's worth the wait. And that pretty much wraps up our little downtown um, eateries tour. The next spot I'm gonna take you, it'll be our final destination, is the San Juan Capistrano Mission, so stay tuned. Okay, so now we're pulling into the Mission San Juan. This is where you can park. They've got the Mission Basilica Chapel building. They've got the Parish Community Center. Um, there's a school that operates here out of Mission Basilica, their, uh, their little private school. But this is where you would park for the mission. And I wanted to just take you on a quick little drive around the circumference of the mission property um, so that you can kind of understand where it is geographically in San Juan and then just kind of see some of the history of this spot, which is so unique. One of the things like when you're in school in Southern California as a kid growing up, you basically, I think almost every public school at some point takes a field trip to the mission. So there, there's school buses here today as kids are taking their, their mission field trip. but. This is the East Gate right here to Sarah's Chapel. It's just amazing to see like how long this property has been standing. And I think even more cool is when you come and you eat in downtown San Juan Capistrano, um, or you stay down here, at, there's a couple of really nice inns here. There's the Cedar Creek Inn and then there's the Mission Inn. But everything that we've shown you here today the restaurants, the Los Rios Historic District, it's all two minutes from the mission of San Juan Capistrano. And here's the, here's the little mission store too where you can go in and kind of buy some um, different convenience items and little historical icons. So definitely worth checking out. And uh, when, you, when you get a chance to stay in San Juan Capistrano, come downtown, eat, drink, hang out, and check out all the cool things it has to offer. We'll wrap up here. This is kind of the last part where you can see the, 
the big historical property and how grand it is. This mission is visible from a lot of different viewpoints in San Juan Capistrano. So a lot of people, when they're looking for property, they want a view of the mission. And that's pretty special in and of itself. So thank you so much for checking out this tour today. If you have any questions on downtown San Juan or, or if, I, if you think I missed something, drop me a comment below and let's have a conversation about it. I'll see you all soon.